Good morning, everyone. My name is Father Bob Gross. It's 6.58 on Wednesday, March 31st. It's the last day of March. Welcome. It's a lot brighter. It's going to be a cold day, but it's a, a lot brighter today. Helps the lighting in the, in the kitchen here. So um, today is Wednesday of Holy Week. And um, hope you have your coffee. Um, yeah, good morning, everyone who just got on. Good morning. Um, today is Wednesday of Holy Week, and um, today um, today I want to share with you the gospel from St. Matthew, today's gospel. And it's, yesterday and today are, are really hard days when it comes to the Gospels. Um, yesterday was about betrayal and denial of Jesus. Today is specifically Judas. And it's the actual act of betrayal. So let's, uh, let's read the Gospel for today. From St. Matthew's Gospel, one of the twelve, who is called Judas Iscariot, went to the chief priests and said, What are you willing to give me if I hand him over to you? They paid him thirty pieces of silver, and from that time on he looked for an op opportunity to hand him over. On the first day of the Feast of Unleavened Bread, the disciples approached Jesus and said, where do you want us to prepare for you to eat the Passover? He said, go into the city to a certain man and tell him, the teacher says, my appointed time draws near. In your house, I shall celebrate the Passover with my disciples. The disciples then did as Jesus had ordered and prepared the Passover. When it was evening, he reclined at table with the twelve. And while they were eating, he said, amen, I say to you, one of you will betray me. Deeply distressed at this, they began to, to say to him one after another, Surely it is not I, Lord. He said in reply, He who has dipped his hand into the dish with me is the one who will betray me. The Son of Man indeed goes as it is written of him. But woe to that man by whom the Son of Man is betrayed. It would be better for that man if he had never been born. Then Judas, his betrayer, said in reply, Surely it is not I, Rabbi. He answered, You have said so. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. There's really some, uh, those are hard words from Jesus. Uh, Woe to that man by whom the Son of Man is betrayed. It would be better for that man if he had never been born. That is really, that's really tough stuff to hear. Um, I think the, the sadness of Judas is the inevitability of it. And then him not bringing that darkness to the Lord. I mean, that's the essence of betrayal. The thing is, though, you can't, you can't mock God. You can't get around God. What was the motive for Judas after seeing all that he had seen? No. So at the very last supper, there was betrayal going on. One of the twelve. Which means that there's going to be betrayal in the church. There's going to be dysfunction in the church, and we shouldn't be surprised by that. But it still doesn't take away the pain of that. The pain, the pain of Jesus with Judas's betrayal is the pain that we feel when we see when we see people betray the church, or we are betrayed by the church. It's just something that we have to face.
but I was with a group of priests yesterday. The decor deanery priests got together because we didn't we didn't have the chrism mass and we had a mass together and it's a warning. This is a warning. We can betray the Lord. We can betray each other. Sometimes one of the greatest expressions of love is actually warning, don't do that. And there's another warning in scripture. Don't do that. You will regret it and the regret you feel may be too much for you to handle. That's what happened to Judas, it was too much for him. He couldn't bring himself to bring his brokenness to the Lord. So may this be a reminder for us. It's a reminder for me. If one of the 12 apostles can betray Jesus, then I can easily betray him. And that's why I gotta stay close to him. And that's why we gotta keep on asking him for mercy. So those are my thoughts this morning. I hope they help you. May God bless you. Here's the one big announcement for tonight. Um, so to those who are part of the St. Joseph uh, devotion, I couldn't get the video out yesterday. Um, I'll get it out today. Uh, number two, tonight we're having our special prayer of healing, of prayer and praise, of being with Jesus and comforting him. And uh, that will begin at 7 p.m. here at St. Aloysius tonight, and that'll be for two hours. If you want to come for the whole time, great. If you can't come for the whole time, that's okay, but you can come for part of it. Uh, please come. So at 7 o'clock, we will expose the Blessed Sacrament. And the first 15 to 20 minutes of the Holy Hour, of the first Holy Hour, will be praise and, and worship, praising God in song. We'll be doing that. And then the second part of the first hour, we'll be hearing uh, those tender scriptures uh, from the Lord that I think are very powerful that could really help us. And then uh, the last part of uh, that hour will be the praying of the chaplet of divine mercy. Uh, the second hour will be more personal. Um, you'll have several options on what to do. Uh, we will have opportunities for confession. I'll be in the, in the confessional. Uh, we'll have a couple of staff members who are willing to pray with you, intercessory prayer, uh, praying God. Uh, it's a powerful moment to have someone pray for you. I can do that in the confessional too. And then um, you'll also have a chance to um, write a letter to Jesus, um, have some journaling, reflection time. Uh, so bring your Bible, uh, bring your Bible, make sure you have your Bible. Uh, bring a pen and uh, bring yourself and uh, hopefully we'll have a special night of prayer. So may God bless you and, and keep you. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a good day.